Well, welcome to season three. We had a great season. We're back from it now. We're going to put in the videos together. We're going to call it uh, Florida to Alaska 2020. Our plans were to go to Alaska, 15,000 miles, we were thinking, three months. Didn't turn out that way, but we had a great trip. A little spoiler alert for you. Um, had some problems on the trip. The biggest problem is we did a, like a caravan with a friend of ours. They were going to follow us on the first leg up to Ohio and their RV breaks down and uh, no joke, they had to get a tow truck and while they were towing it, getting towed down the interstate, it came off the tow truck at like 55, 60 miles an hour. It came disconnected and it was loose from the tow truck. You'll hear all about that in a later episode. In this episode that you're about to watch, what we're going to do is a little bit of prep work that we're doing prior to going, getting prepared to go, and then our little like dry run type of um, shakedown trip that we do at a, a park pretty close to us. It's a, a county park, a little campground. And then after that, it's, you know, on the road for three months, which will be episode number two. And then you'll start seeing some of the issues with the RV where it breaks down. So what I want to do is I want to ask you a favor. If you've been on the tube and you've been watching through about the middle of 2020, you've noticed a whole bunch more commercials. We've noticed it. Everybody that watches have noticed the commercials. We got a new terms of agreement from the tube, and they said that they're going to start putting commercials on non-monetized channels at their will. So what that means is, is if the creator does not qualify for monetization, which we don't, we don't have enough subscribers yet, that they can put the commercials on their channels and keep all the revenue from it. I don't think it's a fair practice, but it's the game and we're just playing by their rules so just asking everybody if you could hit the subscribe button you hear everybody say it there's reasons behind behind the scenes that you might not be aware of that are dictated by the rules of why you need a certain amount of subscribers so if you could hit the subscribe button we need to get our channel over a thousand subscribers like ASAP so that we can benefit from some of the revenue that YouTube's going to collect from the ads regardless because they're going to start putting ads on everybody's channels even if they're not um, monetized so if you can do that we'd really appreciate it because I really think the creator of the videos that put in all the effort should get some of the reward from the advertisers so anyways hope you enjoyed this episode and stick around because this is a great trip Washington was probably our highlight of this one the North Cascades and Oregon. I mean, we do a lot of stuff on this trip and I'm glad you're coming along. So without further ado, enjoy. Well, it looks like we have 36 days to get ready to go to Alaska. So I got a few projects on the RV I need to show you. But in the meantime, that's what COVID-19 does to you. Some chewy boxes and turned into a giant cat condo. And there's T-Bone. Just to let everybody know, we got some bad blood work back on her. She's in, uh, having some kidney problems. She's on all kinds of medication and food, but we don't know how much longer we have with her. You're still doing good. You're just getting really skinny. Really skinny. There's Anna waiting for her mom to come home from work. Look at that tail wag. So the first thing you're going to notice is we got it jacked up. I still have an air tank that needs to go back in. Let me show you what we did underneath here. We added in air suspension. But let me show you the main problem here. Three steps forward and two steps back. Look at this. So there's the backup camera. Yeah, a mouse or something got up inside this cavity and ate through the wire. So I couldn't grab the wire with this grapply thing. It's like that thing from that movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. He went up his nose and grabbed the, the sensor out. Just shoved real hard. So it looks like now we're going to end up having to cut a hole on the inside above the cabinet. So i got to get everything out of the bedroom. And I'm not sure if the mice are still up in there. So this ought to be real interesting. i got to cut an access hole and then patch the camera wire and patch the uh, marker light wire. And I'm pretty sure I found out where they're coming in. This fiberglass housing that's on the back of this thing has got a hollow cavity about two inches, two and a half inches. They're inside that. It's all spray foam where the two pieces meet the inside wall of the camper and his outside wall. 
well there's a piece of spray foam that's missing back there where it's dark the metal tubes or whatever that this is framed out of they had like a super highway to get up there so i don't know what we're going to do to get them out but they got to get out so i can close that up with some steel wool and some more spray foam it's kind of hard to see but that's the cabinet right there i gotta take everything out we got to cut an access hole in the back of that to fix that wire oh here's the other thing that we're doing putting in a micro air easy start we bought an inverter generator a nice quiet one and we think we're gonna end up doing a bunch of boondocking up through alaska and through canada but we'll see so we got some new batteries going in brute force and put a new terminal on getting everything else cleaned up getting it all ready to go yeah so that's kind of how it is <laughs> there's a sheet of rmax and that's what we're doing is we're insulating underneath there i'll show you something that we also did now you know we put lights up inside all these cabinets and automatic lights in here so in our linen closet we had basically had one light and this is kind of how it lit up the inside of the lid, linen closet so i added another light and you can see what a difference that makes that's without that light <laughs> so lisa's going to be really happy with that yeah so there's one of the air ducts so we're putting on this pipe insulation to try to keep it from sweating and i also got this other foil recycled blue jean material that we're insulating the whole ac box the goal is to try to get the coldest air possible coming out the vent so we can drive down the road so and the dogs have their own air duct that comes out through a piece of pvc because they ride on the couch so we're gonna get the finishing up all this insulation and connecting our air ducts back together but you can see the new insulation down there that's that blue jean material and behind it's two layers of three quarter inch armax everything had to come unmounted off the firewall and off the bottom of the dash to install all that in the car behind us and i can tell you it feels really good to be behind the wheel again we got to meet up with some friends here at the campground only bad part was supposed to be like 90 percent chance of rain going to a campground is a little sentimental to us first place we ever went camping pretty cool come check this out with us Not that it's hot, hot, but it's like 100% humidity. So what's so special about this place? This was the first place we camped. It was. First place ever. Did it for one night, and then we decided we liked it, and that was it. Seven years later, that was seven years ago, 2013. But check this out. You know you're in Florida when they got a giant concrete alligator. <laughs> what do you remember about this park? Well, what I remember is this is the first time we went camping and we took Anna and we were almost done and we took down our fence and she jumped out of the camper and was going around the campground barking at everybody saying hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was a good thing that we were leaving or we probably would have got kicked out that day. It was a little embarrassing, that's for sure. So Lisa, what do you remember? I remember we forgot our dinner in the fridge at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that may be a true story there's no video of it though so there's no video evidence but yeah we left uh well left all the stuff we were going to grill at home so we just had to jump in the car and drive back home but i also remember that you wanted to go to walmart and get a television don't listen to her <laughs> so i think it's kind of appropriate i think it's pretty cool we're coming back to the first place we ever camped before we leave to go to Alaska, right? Yeah. So with friends, which would this will be their first time camping in their camp. Oh, that that's true. This is their first camper, so this is their first camping experience, and they decided to do it with us and do it at the same park that we did our first one at. So that's pretty neat. Okay, so we're all set up at the campground. There's the rig. 
We actually got the awning out tonight. What's the temperature? Nice. <laughs> Way too humid. So Lisa brought her car. We don't have the Honda Fit today, but we got our rug set up. We got our grilling setup set up. The table set up. We got a vegetarian with self-protection. By the way, this is Mark. Hey. <laughs> oh, we got some skewers, some chicken, and I'm making skewers. Perfect. I got some meat on a skewer. You know what the best part about it is? I don't have to do anything. You're taping. <laughs> There's evidence. So we just had some visitors come. Let me see if we can't find them over here. Rooting around in here with some baby armadillos. Check out Instagram, you'll see the posts about it. So this is kind of getting back to our roots. This is what we used to do at least one weekend every three weeks, four weeks-ish, is try to get away for a weekend somewhere close to, in Florida, somewhere close to our house, Central Florida-ish, and uh, mostly state parks and stuff. We haven't been able to do that. We haven't kind of gotten away from it with these big trips that we do, you know, where we're off going to California and stuff, and then this year going to Alaska, but it feels really good to come here and just really relax. And uh, we've been to this park a couple times, and like I said before, this is where we, this is it, you know, we started here. We, we got a campsite for one night, and we stayed, and of course we forgot our food and, and all that, and then we filled up our gray tank too fast from doing dishes, and we had to go down, disconnect, and go down and dump. Learned a lot on that trip. Good shakedown cruise then, 2013. And then we woke up the next morning and I looked at Lisa and said, you want to stay another night? And she's like, yeah, I think I do. And then that's what we did. And then here we are seven years later and how many states we've been to, it's great. And we're going to Alaska this year. So I'm glad you guys are coming along with us. So it feels really good to be camping again. Can't wait until the COVID thing is totally over with. Well, I do have to say, even though it's raining out, we had a great dinner. We had skewers, a lot of veggies on them and stuff. We had some corn on the cob really good even though it was raining out it's not bad the temperature dropped down a little bit the humidity is still really high but not bad it feels good to be camping again it's I can't explain you know that it feels really good to be camping so even in the rain so we're having a great time so I'm glad you guys came along with us so check out some of our other videos and we appreciate it and we'll see you on the next video